In the ERC grant that we just completed, we had proposed to develop a completely new strategy for exploring the, the chemical damage that we believe initiates the development of mutations that are seen in cancer. We made two important findings, and in one sense, we, we basically created, we created a new chemical approach to study DNA damage, and using this new chemical approach, we, we learned a lot of fundamental processes that, that control how an exposure to a chemical could then disrupt biochemical machinery. And at the same time, we basically realized that what we had, what we had on hand were some new tools that could allow us to, to detect damage, that chemical damage that is formed upon exposure to toxicants. Yes, it was, it was definitely worth it. The ERC funding scheme is a very, for a scientist, this is, this is like the dream funding scheme. It's very attractive. It's a bit longer program. It's a five-year program. You, it's investigator-driven, so it can really be focused on the ideas that motivate your research program. And they are interested in big ideas that have some degree of risk to them. So getting this grant was also very meaningful to my team, and it came at a very special time. So I, I got this ERC grant really as I came to Europe. So I applied for this grant right before I took on my position at the ETH. And this, this really injected a big start into establishing the research program in our lab at the ETH Zurich. And so it, it, allowed, it allowed us to integrate several new team members, some that had come from the United States and some that we newly added when, when we came to Europe. And that was really possible because of the scope of the ERC project. It absolutely helped me have a good start in Europe. So coming to the end of this ERC project, we decided to apply for a proof of concept project, which allows us to, to transform or to try to transform some of the basic findings we had in the ERC grant and to try to develop that into tools that could really have some sort of commercial application. The result of the proof of concept we hope actually can be a product that can work to detect damage in biological samples. And then this product we think initially will be very attractive for researchers, for example, in the field of molecular epidemiology that do larger scale investigations in, in people that have particular diets, for example, or are being treated with particular drugs. And then this could be a useful tool for them to gain molecular information on, on a large population. Then as a result of those large studies, we think that it's possible that, that we can have this uh, shift in paradigm from early diagnosis to even earlier risk prognosis. We collaborate with clinicians, um, oncologists who provide, who provide biological samples for the studies. And, um, and then a significant part of the project has to do with managing the steps toward protecting the intellectual property of the project and, and then and collaborating also with a business partner on the project. So we have a, we have a partner who is another, who is actually an ETH spin-off company who makes nanoparticles with some prop, some special properties that we think will be specifically useful for our application. And so we've partnered with, uh, with them and, and at the end of the day, we will, we will have a concept for the com a commercialization, what would be a viable commercialization strategy for, for the product. I'm really happy to have the EU Grants Access Office uh, available and also I, I find that I have, I have gotten connected to the individuals involved in the office and so it is really nice to, they're very nice and helpful to interact with and they can always direct me to the right person to take care of what needs to be done.